Hey guys, welcome to the Nerd Find. This is Pradeep Chaudhary, and in this video, we'll understand what is L stack, why it is so important in an enterprise grade setup, and we'll also get started with how to push logs to L stack using Python. So now let's first understand what is L stack. L stack basically provides you a way to create a centralized repository for all your log data generated, whether it may be from applications, VMs, web UIs, or whatever. Elstack is a collection of three open source products, Elasticsearch, Logstash, and Kibana. Elasticsearch provides your querying engine for the log data in the Elstack stored by Logstash. And Logstash provides you all the necessary tools for log data ingestion and storing. So there are various ways which we'll be discussing in, uh, in the later part of the video on how to push data to Logstash. And then finally, Kibana provides a visualization tools and dashboards for your log data. So let's see uh, what's the architecture for LStack. So you would be having various APIs, VMs, and web applications and others generating logs, which has to be pushed to Logstash and which will be stored by Logstash. Then Elasticsearch provides an engine to query the Logstash data. And then finally, Kibana uh, provides all the necessary visualization tools. So now let's understand what are the various ways to push log data to Logstash. So the first way is using TCP protocol. In this way, basically we use TCP protocol directly to push uh, data to Logstash using the REST interface provided by it. In this video, we'll see how to use Python to push logs to LStack using TCP protocol. But uh, we need to keep this in mind that it's not the most recommended way to and should only be used when the log generated is very low. Then uh, the second way is using PEAT. So there are various uh, beats uh, uh, that are available like file beat and metric beat uh, and others uh, which can be used to push data to Logstash. So this is a much better approach than TCP and should be used in a production environment. In the next videos, we'll understand how to use a beat to push logs to Logstash. Then the third way is using Kafka or some other messaging service. This is the best approach to push logs to Elk when the amount of logs generated is huge and is highly recommended. So this is generally uh, done and maintained by DevOps team and requires quite a good amount of setup. So in this video, we'll be setting up Elk in our local using Docker. As we have discussed in the previous videos, Docker simplifies the task of running different softwares in local, which might be needed by the developers to test and develop in the local machines. Elk is provided as individual Docker images by Elastic and can be used uh, individually to set up a, a stack in local. Rather than running individual Docker images, we'll be using Docker, Docker Compose to run the entire L stack. So now let's go ahead and let's get started on how to uh, set up the entire log st uh, L stack in our local using Docker Compose. So we'll be using this repository, which uh, provides the Docker Compose and also all the necessary config files to run our uh, uh, run the entire L stack in our local. So we'll go ahead and we'll first clone this uh, particular repository. I'll be putting this in the link so you, you guys can go ahead and uh, use the same. So let's cd into this directory, then we'll use the git clone command to clone this repository. So let's clone this repository first. Perfect. Now we have this repository. So let's go ahead and we'll. Uh, CD into this directory. So now, before running uh, the docker compose up command, we'll uh, do one more change. So we'll just uh, modify the logstash uh, uh, logstash config to uh, like uh, um, like which will um, like we'll modify the config to take uh, our JSON data and uh, so that it should be able to pass the JSON data properly. So we'll go to logstash pipeline and then logstash.com. So we'll uh, add um, just one line here. Uh, we'll specify the codec as uh, JSON. And uh, we don't need to change any of the other things. The username and password will remain. Uh, we'll keep it as elastic and change. So if you guys want, uh, you can go ahead and change uh, the username and password. So now we have modified our logstash configuration uh, to handle uh, JSON data. So now let's go ahead and uh, we'll 
um, use the docker uh, compose and dot yaml file to do our docker compose so let's run so to docker compose oh, come on okay, ask for the password so it will take some time to set up the entire log stash in our local so let's give it a few seconds a few minutes if you are running this for the first time it will build the entire uh, uh, image and it will st uh, start it will take probably uh, four five minutes to do the entire setup so i'll push uh, pause the video here and we'll resume when the entire setup is ready so our entire l stack is running now so now let's go ahead and we'll uh, access the l stack uh, ui at localhost 5601 port so um, let's load this uh, elastic ui and for me the password is elastic and password is changed me if you have changed the uh, username password in the log stash config make sure you uh, uh, gain uh, the username and password correct so let's log in and we can see the uh, elastic uh, stack UI. So now let's go ahead and we'll first push some logs using Python to this L stack. Then we'll see how to create an index and how to visualize um, that log data. So we'll be using a Python package called Python log test async, which provides a, a synchronous Python logging handler to push log data to um, L stack. So we'll go ahead and we'll install uh, the Python logs as async in our local to test it out first. So let's go ahead and install it. It will take a few seconds to install uh, this particular library. Let's give it a few seconds. Okay, perfect. Now we have our um, Python logs as async uh, model installed in our local. So now let's go ahead and we'll create a, a directory of Python logging test, which, where we'll create a test uh, a test Python file to push logs to L stack. So let's see it into this directory. Okay, my bad. There was a typo in this previous. And here we'll create a .py file. We'll call it test logging .py. Perfect. Now let's go ahead and we'll uh, open this particular uh, folder and VS Code. If you guys are using some other editor, please feel free to use that. So now let's go ahead and let's write our Python code for uh, you, um, like using the log stash async handler uh, to push logs to the stack. So we'll use, uh, import a couple of libraries. We'll import the logging library and also the log stash async handler. And we'll import the async uh, log, uh, asynchronous log stash handler. And from that, then we'll like get a variable for our, uh, like for our log stash. So the host is local host and the port is 5000. And then we'll create our logging instance. We'll call it test logger. Uh, so logging dot get logger, and we'll pass the name here. Python logging test. And then let's set the test loggers uh, level to debug. Let's 
simple.slash.handler and we'll pass in the host port and the database path as the then we'll add the handler to the logger and handler and the second is to handler perfect so now we'll write a for loop that will generate uh, logs for infinite amount of time so this is just for testing purpose so while true test underscore logger dot info and we'll put some message this info message at so we'll pass the time into the string and then we'll sleep, make the program sleep for a few seconds so now let's run this code, which will uh, we should push to um, our stack. So let's go ahead and run this file. Okay. Uh, so no module found. Log stash underscore async underscore. Okay. So it should be log stash underscore async dot. Okay, uh, import uh, cannot import name as a kind of as handler. Is there asynchronous? Yes, log dash handler. Okay, there is capital S, which is small s. Okay, perfect. Okay, again, uh, let's include an asynchronous. Um, Now the program is running and we are pushing blocks to the stack. So now let's go ahead and let's create our first index to view the log data. So to create our first index, we can go to uh, management and stack management. Here we can go to Kibana and index patterns and we'll create our first index pattern from here. So to create our index, we'll call it log stash star. So we'll, uh, we won't uh, go into uh, a lot of details on uh, like how to uh, create appropriate index and all those. We'll see that in the future videos. For this video, we'll keep it simple and create an index for the logs and log stash data. And time field also will uh, not use any time filter. So we'll create the index pattern and perfect now we have our uh, index ready so to visualize our log data we'll go to uh, observ uh, observability and then logs then from here we'll go to settings and we'll create our uh, python, uh, create our log name called python logs and we'll only see the index for log dash So and stamp, we don't need to provide any log stash uh, log columns. We'll keep these three columns. Feel free to add any columns that you need and we'll do a apply effect. Then we can go to streams and we can see our log data here. So uh, it will show you all the log data and it's a, a real-time stream. So you can uh, like go ahead and see what the uh, log data in real time stream. Perfect. So this is it with respect to our introduction to LStack and how to push uh, logs to LStack using Python using TCP protocol. In the next videos, we'll see how to use FileBeat to push data into LStack using uh, uh, Python. So that's it for this video. If you like this video, 
to, uh, to like it, subscribe to my channel and share it with your friends, colleagues and have an awesome day. Thanks for watching.